Hey guys, welcome to my fishing guide. Today I will show you everything there is to know about fishing. But first, let's answer why should you even fish? Well, it's simple, fishing brings a lot of mastery. And it's not just the mastery you get from the fish you learn and the badges you unlock. This activity brings you glim, a lot of glim, and uh, using that you can buy treasure isle allies, <laughs> recipes, <laughs> what, are you do what are you doing Toppy? Uh, recipes and um, sales. If you also count the rods you'll collect, the total amount of mastery you'll be getting from fishing is 2850 mastery points or 28.5 uh, master levels. And there are even some things I skipped such as these two boats right here and uh, all of the boot allies. So a lot of mastery to be obtained from fishing. On top of the mastery you'll be getting from fishing, Upon deconstructing a fish in a loot collector, you'll be getting radiant shards, blank scrolls, ores and more. Now that you know why you should be fishing, let's start. For a successful fishing session, you'll be needing three elements. A fishing rod, bait and uh, water. Best way for a beginner to access those three elements is by pressing H, teleporting to the hub and then going to the special fishing corner in the hub, which is this one. Once there, approach Saltwater Sam, press E to trade him, buy a basic fishing pole and buy some lure. Your newly bought fishing rod will be placed in your inventory. Learn it, then equip it. Then approach a body of water, press F to cast your uh, rod and make sure you don't miss the water else. Uh, you won't be losing your lure but you won't be getting any fish. This is the average waiting time, 20 to 30 seconds. You can improve that by taking advantage of Wednesday's bonus, which is faster fishing. Non-patron users will uh, fish 50% faster and uh, patron users will be fishing 100% faster. If you don't act in time, your bait will go to waste. Any fish you get, doesn't matter what kind, only consumes one lure. Here are some raids taken from the wiki. You got 70% chance of catching a common fish, 20% chance of catching an uncommon fish, 1% chance of catching a rare or enchanted fish, and 2.5% chance of catching an old boot. Which fisher rod, the rod this guy is fishing with, can be obtained through fishing? It has a drop chance of 1 in 10,000, oh my god, 10,000 fish caught. Magic find does not affect fishing in any way. Depending on how big the fish you just caught is, you can get a bronze trophy, a silver trophy or a gold trophy. Keep in mind you don't necessarily get a trophy each time you catch a fish. Get the loot out of a fishing by placing it in a loot collector. We'll go in depth on uh, how to catch all the rare fish later, now we'll take a look on the rods you can get. There are 8 types of fishing poles you can get, 6 in the basic tab, 1 in the badge tab and the last one in the shadow arena tab. First rod, you already know how to get it, buy it from Saltwater Sam. Malt and Magma Sifter, Candid Fishing Cane and Lady of the Lake are all craftable in Nautical Assembler crafting bench. About the wish fisher, I already told you, you can either buy it from the market or uh, <laughs> test your luck and try get it as a drop. But I gotta mention, I only got a single wish fisher in 15k fish caught. Master Angler's Rod is a uh, master reward and unfortunately I can't tell you the master level you need to get it as uh, there are no master levels attached to the bonuses, but here it is. The badge rod you get from catching 2k fish and the Shadow Arena one you get from buying it from a shadowy market. I think it costs only one Heart of Darkness and the shadowy markets are found in Shadow Tower. Now, let's quickly go over their abilities. 
As you might have guessed, Molten Magma stif Sifter sorry, allows you to fish in lava. Candide Fishing Cane allows you to fish in chocolate. The last fishing rod that has an ability is Lady of the Lake. This fishing rod allows you to get enchanted fish, so instead of rare fish, for example, instead of a uh, ancient lava rider, you'll be getting an enchanted fish. Rest of the fishing poles are purely cosmetic. So I just told you guys, depending on the rod you use, you can either fish in water, lava or chocolate. But there's more to it. In order for you to catch some rare fish, you'll need to meet some specific requirements. I placed in the description of this video a Google document showing you where to catch every single fish in Trove and what does it give upon deconstructing. I'll now show you how to catch every single rare fish in Trove. First up, the Hub Hugger. You get it by fishing in the hub. Keep in mind 1% chance of that happening, so 1 in 100 fish caught. Get dry bones by fishing in Desert Frontier. You can get the ancient sea fish by fishing in your club world. To get the wide-eyed noob fish you'll need to type slash tutorial and so you'll reach the tutorial world, then find a body of water and fish there. Radiant Dawn fish can be obtained from uh, fishing in the Skyrim during the day and Radiant Moon fish can be obtained in the same biome but fishing during the night. To get a weird fish eye you'll have to fish inside a shallow tower. To get a gloam fish you'll have to fish in the cursed valley. Now let's get to the enchanted fish, and for that you'll have to switch to your Lady of the Lake. To catch the Witchly Animal you'll have to be in the Curse Valley, but keep in mind this fish can only be caught if you're between 20 and 200 blocks. As you can see right now I'm 107 blocks high and now it raises because I'm jumping. To see that you can either uh, type slash location or slash lock or go to settings miscellaneous and uh, tick where is it show player location tick this to get a frog prince you'll need to fish in fey biome to get a phoenix fish you'll have to fish in dragonfire pigs biome and keep in mind you gotta fish in water to get enchanted fish not in lava so search your body of water preferably on the edge of the biome because i don't think you can find the water anywhere else and uh, fish for your uh, phoenix fish you can fish the Griefish anywhere except in the Fae and uh, Dragonfire Picks. So just find the, yourself a biome such as Kendoria and make sure you're over 200 blocks high. Then make yourself a little water source like I just did here and uh, good luck catching it. I actually recommend doing it on your cornerstone so people won't destroy it. Get the deep sea mirthing by doing the exact same thing, the only difference being you have to be under 20 blocks. We just finished all of the rare water fishes, now let's move to lava and switch back to your, um, where is it? Switch to your uh, Molten Magma Sifter Rod. To get a charred hub hugger you'll have to travel back to the tutorial world and then go uh, southeast. After you reach the Dragonfire Pigs biome in the hub, search for a lava area to fish in. Flame roasted noob fish can be caught in tutorial, again type slash tutorial to access this world, search for this lava waterfall I guess and uh, start fishing. To get a frigid firefish you'll have to travel to permafrost biome and uh, find a body of lava to fish in. Get the tropical volcano fish by going to treasure isle and uh, fishing in lava. You get a soaring flame fish by fishing in the skyloam's lava. You can get the Ancient Lava Rider from your own club world. Ancient Chocolurker. You can get this fish anywhere except from Kandoria and club worlds. Just make sure to be between 20 and 200 blocks. The way I recommend you do it is by setting up your own chocolate dispenser on your cornerstone. Blue and pink high flying cotton. You get them both the same way. Just make sure to be over 200 blocks high. Besides that, no other requirement, you can fish it wherever you want. To get a pressurized gobfish, you gotta be under 20 blocks deep. You can get it anywhere besides your club world and the hub world. You can get the popular poptopus by fishing in your own club world. And finally, the last rare fish, the chocodile. 
You gotta be in Candoria and fish between 20 and 200 blocks. After you collect every single fish there is to collect, you won't be even close to getting 15k, which is the maximum achievement. I have a little guide on how to AFK fishing and uh, make it more relaxing, but don't get me wrong, you'll still have to work for every fish you catch. If you're interested in seeing that, click the video on the screen right now. Other than that, good luck on catching every single rare fish in game. Thank you very much for watching people, I will see you on the next video.